Hello everyone, this is Husker Eurocat and welcome to the playoffs here on Madden Football. San Francisco has made the postseason but have lost the NFC West to the Seahawks. As a result, the 49ers have hit the road and are playing the Dallas Cowboys in AT&T Stadium on Wild Card Weekend. The Cowboys have had some significant losses due to injuries, especially on the defensive line and secondary, but that hasn't stopped them from finishing the season with six wins in a row. With Zeke Elliott, they have the number one rushing game in the league, and with Dak Prescott leading the way at quarterback, this is going to be one tough game. We'll have to see how the number one rush defense handles Elliott and company since when they met in the preseason, he ran wild when he was on the field. This should be an interesting game to say the least. The teams have taken the field and look ready for the kickoff, so let's join them as the 49ers battle the Cowboys here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Marquette King is ready to send it deep to get us started here at AT&T Stadium. Ryan Switzer brings it out of the end zone and barely gets to the 15. He doesn't. And that starts out the Cowboys at the 13-yard line. Prescott throws complete to Ellison out to the 18-yard line. And Ezekiel Elliott is hurt. The first play of the game. Raymond Johnson is his replacement. He takes it to the 19. We're going to have to find out about Elliott's injury because that could impact the Cowboys a great deal. They don't make it on third down, and it is San Francisco ball. The give is to McKinnon. He fights for yardage up to the 39. Second and five. McKinnon again over the right side. First down. Now Jones gets the ball out past the 50-yard line and into Dallas territory. Garoppolo throws complete. Tayshawn Jones with an outstanding catch out of the backfield. Has a first down and a lot more down to the 30. Jeter catches it out of the backfield. Spins his way for a first down inside the red zone. Out of bounds at the 17. Garoppolo. Throws to the end zone, and it is incomplete intended for George Kittle. Third and 10. On play action, Garoppolo heads right and throws into the end zone out of bounds. 34-yard field goal by Kaimi Fairbairn is good. And the 49ers take the lead in the game. Now the kickoff by Marquette King out of bounds at the one yard line. Accuracy is definitely a problem this season and that gives the Cowboys excellent field position at the 40. Prescott back to pass, throws complete. Taylor Cabriel with the completion inside 49er territory. Prescott back to pass again, throws across the middle. Ellison complete inside the 35. Now the handoff goes to Johnson. Oh, he pulls over Jimmy Ward and gets the first down, down to the 21. Rookie Chris Sweezy gets a carry and he's inside the 15. Second and three. Again, Sweezy inside the 10 and first down and goal for the Cowboys. Prescott gives to Switzer. And he's down to the two-yard line. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter with the 49ers on top, three to nothing. Now let's get an update from Eurocat Baby. A quick update that can impact the rest of the first half is that Ezekiel Elliott had bruised some ribs. The good news is that Dallas is outfitting him with a flak jacket to minimize any further damage. The Dallas training staff's goal is to try to have him back in action for the second half. Thank you for that update, although it doesn't seem that Dallas is having a whole lot of trouble running the ball right now. One can only imagine what they're going to be like if Elliott is back in the game. Now from just inside the two-yard line, Prescott 
Takes the handoff, runs around the rough side, and he is stopped for a one-yard loss on the play. Now on third down, the throw into the end zone, and Charles Clay has the touchdown. Prescott threaded the needle on that one because he was, Charles Clay, he was just surrounded by 49er defenders, and somehow that pass got in there. So now after a 49er three and out, Johnson again around the left side, first down out to the 39 yard line. On third and 12, Prescott back to pass, throws and it's complete. Charles Clay inside 49er territory at the 43. Sweezy can't get out of the backfield, tackled by Reuben Foster. Prescott back again, and he is sacked. Malcolm Smith getting to him to end the Cowboy drive. And the punt goes out of bounds inside the 10. Nine yard line is where they'll start, and Garoppolo completes this to Jordan, first down. Now at the 29, Garoppolo goes deep, and it's incomplete intended for Lester Jordan. Second and 10, Washington gets to the line of scrimmage and tackled by Taco Charlton. That brings us to the two minute warning with your score seven to three, Dallas. Garoppolo drops way back and it's incomplete intended for Lester Jordan again. Now the Cowboys with a minute 49 left on the clock. Prescott throws deep and it's caught. Taylor Gabriel makes the play and into the end zone. He goes for a 78 yard touchdown. Prescott puts just the right amount of touch on this pass and Cockrell dives after Gabriel and he cannot make the tackle. That puts the Cowboys out in front 14 to three. The kickoff goes to Bell. And he takes it out to the right side. He's out in the open, and he is not fast enough. He gets tackled at the 47 by Shaquem Griffin, and Garoppolo is dropped in the backfield. Michael Randall getting to him on that play. McKinnon makes the third down play and keeps the 49er offense on the field. They needed 19, McKinnon got 21. Now Garoppolo drops back and he gets snowed in the backfield. That was a heavy blitz. Garoppolo throwing deep and it's caught. Lester Jordan inside the five and touchdown. Rookie Theo Lewis Moore cannot make the stop and the concentration of Jordan is just absolutely amazing on that play. Catching it off the ricochet at the 10 yard line and carrying it into the end zone for the 50 yard completion on the play and making this a four point football game. 39 seconds left. Can Dallas put some more points on the board? Johnson takes it up the middle and he carries it out to the 22. Second and three, Prescott throws, and that one is knocked down by Ross Cockrell. Prescott, oh, he has, it is a fumble recovered by Navarro Bowman, and if you look at that, it looked like the ball ricocheted off the helmet of Charles Tapper. That one is considered a fumble, and Navarro Bowman makes the recovery at the 15. That puts the 49ers in excellent field position, ready to make another score with only 28 seconds left. Garoppolo drops back, throws into the end zone, touchdown, Kenny Bell. Garoppolo saw the matchup that he wanted with the rookie yet again, and Kenny Bell catches it in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. That brings the score at halftime to 17-14.
the 49ers have taken the lead. Wow, what a wild finish to the first half. The 49ers taking advantage of a couple of cowboy mistakes have been able to take the lead in the game. However, Dallas will get Ezekiel Elliott back in the game dealing with some bruised ribs. If Dallas can get that part of their attack rolling, San Francisco could be in real trouble. Let's find out if the 49ers can deal with that when we continue our coverage of Wild Card Weekend when we come back. Welcome back everyone to AT&T Stadium on Wild Card Weekend. The first half between the Cowboys and the 49ers had a spectacular finish. Let's see what the second half has to bring. Garoppolo drops back and lets it fly. It is intercepted by Sean Lee. He's back inside the 35 giving Dallas excellent field position already in field goal range. That intended for Bryce Butler. Garoppolo must just not have seen Sean Lee. With someone like his caliber in the backfield, you have to be watching for him. Charles Clay makes the catch at the 21. Now on the counter play, Elliott takes it up the hash marks and is inside the 15. Second and three, Prescott is hit and fumbles the football. It's recovered by for the 49ers, but let's see that. Oh, the ball is out. Prescott taking a hard hit from Armstead and Charles Tapper makes the recovery and that ends the Dallas threat. Now Garoppolo. Gives off to McKinnon, and he is out to the 21. Well, just past the 20 anyway. And a pass complete to McKinnon. He's out past the 45. First down, 49ers. Out of the eye formation. McKinnon gets the ball again as the first down inside Dallas territory. Down to the 41. And Jimmy throws another interception. This time to Shaquem Griffin. And after an offside by San Francisco, Elliott takes it up the middle. First down, out to midfield. Out of the I formation. The play action pass is complete to Cole Beasley inside the 25 yard line. Johnson cannot make it out of the backfield. Hit down by Eric Armstead. Gabriel makes the completion. He's down inside the 20. The red zone visit and Prescott cannot make the sticks. So Dan Bailey comes on and he drills it through to tie up this football game at 17 apiece. After a San Francisco three and out, Elliott, the deep back. Prescott throws, and that one is just about intercepted by Jimmy Ward. Prescott from the shotgun, handling the high snap, and completes it out to Taylor Gabriel at midfield. Now Elliott takes it up the hash marks on the left side, first down inside 49er territory. This time given to Elliott again, and he has a four-yard gain that brings us to the end of the third quarter, all knotted up at 17 apiece. Let's now go to Eurocat Baby for another update. Both teams are having a hard time getting anything going. However, the Cowboys are on the march. Although Elliott isn't chewing holes in the 49er defense as expected, he is making an impact. San Francisco's sputtering offense is yet to get anything going here in the second half. But Jimmy has been huddling with his offensive linemen trying to rally his protection into better performance down the stretch. Thank you for the update and with the ball game tied, it's anybody's game at this point. From just inside the 33, Johnson is given the call and he's inside the 30 yard line. Can the 49ers make the stop? 
Prescott throws and it's knocked down by Reuben Foster. A 47 yard field goal by Dan Bailey and it's up and good and the Cowboys have taken the lead yet again in this football game. Out of the eye formation from the 25, Garoppolo is chased and he sat. Deron Payne gets to him for a nine yard loss. And Garoppolo throws to Jordan for a nine yard pickup. Getting him back to the original line of scrimmage. Garoppolo heads right, throws, and it's complete to George Kittle. First down, out to the 44. McKinnon takes it to the right side and has a six yard gain. Second and four, the other way for McKinnon, and he dodges a tackle and is inside the 35. They're gonna give him the 34. Garoppolo back to pass, throws over the middle, and it's ricocheted and incomplete. Another drop back, another throw to McKinnon, deep, and he misses the football. A 51-yard field goal, and it's off to the left side. No good by Kaimi Fairbairn. Now after a Dallas three and out, Garoppolo throws complete to Lester Jordan inside the 40-yard line. First down, 49ers. That brings us to the two-minute warning. With the 49ers on the move, McKinnon cannot get out of the backfield. Tackled by Taco Charlton. Jeter releases out of the backfield and he has the completion. First down and out of bounds at the 21. Garoppolo throws and he's off the mark. Intended for Jordan. Again, back to pass, all alone, McKinnon over the middle, and he's inside the five. At the two-yard line, it's first and goal. Washington driving with his legs, cannot make any headway. Down at the three-yard line, and George Kittle all alone on the right side, releases into the end zone, and it is touchdown 49ers. They take the lead with under 30 seconds to go. Taking a look at that on the Jumbotron, I don't know how that was missed. Complete breakdown in coverage by the Cowboys, and that was an easy touchdown for George Kittle. Now the kickoff is out of bounds. Another one by Marquette King. And that gives the Cowboys excellent field position at the 40 yard line. They do need a touchdown. Prescott throws out of bounds. There just wasn't anybody open. Pass this time goes to Gabriel Short. Tackled at the 46, third and four. Prescott back to pass, throws deep into the end zone, and it is knocked down. Fourth and four, 11 seconds left. Prescott throws long, and that one is knocked away. Jimmy Ward getting over there to bat it away, and all Garoppolo has to do is take a knee with six seconds left, and this one is over. The 49ers take one away here in AT&T Stadium. It seemed that Dallas was taking control of the game during the third quarter, but that little discussion that Jimmy G had with his O-line must have done some good. Although Kaimi Fairbairn missed that 51-yard field goal attempt, the 49ers dominated quarter number four. After that Dallas three and out just before the two-minute warning, the San Francisco offense played an outstanding two-minute drill to take the lead for good. This was everything that we expected it would be. If you take a look at the stats for the game, Dallas had a bit better success in the running game, which was expected, but these were two very evenly matched teams. Only four total offensive yards separated these ball clubs 
so it was obvious that neither team dominated the game. Jimmy failed to reach the 50% completion mark in the ball game, and the team was able to overcome two interceptions to pull out the win in the end. Jarek McKinnon didn't have a huge yardage production day, but with 49 of his 60 yards on the ground coming after first contact, he did some tough running and made a significant contribution. It was clear that neither the running game nor the passing attack was outstanding, but the passing attack was the game winner for the 49ers today. Lester Jordan, with some heads up play in the second quarter, made the biggest impact in the game, I thought, although George Kittle had the game winning touchdown. Despite Jimmy's bad throws, the passing game made the difference for the 49ers in the end. The defense didn't have any real standout players today as far as tackles are concerned, but two things really aided the team in getting the win. One was that they didn't allow the Cowboys to have a breakout day, keeping the number one rushing team in the NFL to under 100 yards on the ground. And the other is that they were able to create two costly fumbles. One created a touchdown for the Niners as the first half was coming to a close, and the other when the Cowboys were in the red zone and about to score themselves. What a great defensive performance. Well, what happened in the other games on this wild card weekend? No surprises, unless you want to say that the 9-7 Patriots was a, a surprise loss. The Titans, Falcons, and Bengals all advanced to the division round. Well, I'll recant my surprise statement. The Bengals did win in the playoffs. We're so used to seeing them lose here in recent history, it's a little unusual to see them move on to the next round. But move on to the division weekend, they do. So the games look like this. The Titans visit the Steelers. The Falcons travel to Seattle to play the Seahawks. The Bengals invade the land of the Texans. And the 49ers face off against the Bears for the second time this season. San Francisco just played the Bears two weeks ago, so they should be fresh in the minds of the players. I doubt whether this will be the same Chicago team, though. The last time they played, it seemed like the Bears were playing as though they knew they had the playoffs wrapped up. The real problem is that we as sports commentators don't know really what to expect. Chicago lost the last three games of the season and still managed to secure a bye week playoff berth losing home field advantage to the Seahawks. So it really depends what team shows up. The team that won 12 of its first 13 games or the team that lost and backed into the playoffs. All I know is that just because the Niners defeated the Bears the last time, this time could be quite different. The Bears have an outstanding defense, especially stopping the run and having the number two rush offense behind Jordan Howard and Tariq Cohen. Remember that Cam Newton is out for the season, but all teams <laughs> would love to have a backup like Mitchell Trubisky. What a battle this should turn out to be. That brings us to the end of another week's presentation of the San Francisco 49er franchise on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Please keep in mind that if you enjoyed this video, leave a like so that others can enjoy it too. And make sure that you subscribe and click on that bell for notifications of upcoming videos. In a come from behind win in the last minute of the game, the Niners secured the win and move on to the division round. The Bears should prove to be, depending on if they have their priorities corrected, a tough opponent to get past. With that number two rush defense, can the running game behind Jarek McKinnon have a meaningful impact on the performance of the offense? 
I know that we're looking forward to seeing if Jimmy can keep it together and not throw the ball into impossible places. The defense will have its hands full with the tandem of Jordan and Cohen. And in order to see if they can handle the pressure, please be with us as the Bears take on the 49ers in the Windy City. For Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew here, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone.